Assalamu alaikum guys, Mahad here, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna review the third and final book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. Without further ado, let's hop into Chaos Walking and Monsters of Men. So this book starts off, we're left in the second book. The answer is being attacked by the ask and now the aliens are also attacking the answer, meaning it's a full on two front war. I explained about the aliens in my previous videos, but now we must dive deeper into the details. Okay, so basically these aliens were on this planet long before the humans and then there was this giant human versus spackle war. The aliens are called spackles and when the humans won this war, they warned the spackles not to cross ways with them. That's pretty much it about them in the first book though. In the second book, there's not much about them except for the fact that a large amount of spackles are imprisoned in a town called Haven and that Todd makes an enemy spackle after literally saving its life. In the third book, they have a giant role, having to fight the humans for their freedom, the Spackle all unite under the rule of one. And they're also accompanied by Ben, who I mentioned in my first video is a father figure for Todd. What I really like about this trilogy is that an important villain dies at the end of each book in a very peculiar way. In the first book, Aaron, a very crazy priest, sets out to get murdered by Todd, but then is thrown off a waterfall and stabbed by Viola. In the second book, Dave Prentice gets killed by his own father, Mayor Prentice, for developing an alliance with Todd. And in the third book, the mayor himself tells Todd that he's, he would make a fine leader. And then he walks out to the ocean to get killed by a large fish. I would rate this book a 3.5 out of a 5, not because it was bad in any way, I just generally lost interest midway because it seemed to be happening over and over and over again. Like a few humans got killed, then a few spackles, then a few humans, then a few spackles. And this went on and on. The author of this book is Patrick Ness. I've read a few of his other books like More Than This and A Monster Calls. And I've reviewed the rest of his trilogy in my previous videos. Link's gonna be in the description. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell and drop a like please. The fact of the day is that humans can swim in blue whale's veins.